Hello everyone, today I want to show you how to do the girl with the umbrella, it's a Banksy picture. I want to show you some of his work, he's a really awesome uh, graffiti artist and this is a really famous one with the girl in the balloon and this is a really cool one, man with the dog. So what I want to do is, it's a girl with a, with a balloon, it's a girl with an umbrella and it's in the style of Banksy. So Banksy is this artist that no one's ever met, they don't know who he is, but he's this artist that goes around London, goes around certain places and does all of this artwork on a wall. He's not really supposed to, uh, but it looks amazing and no one knows who he is. So we're going to do our own Banksy style girl with the umbrella, which will look really cool. So we're going to have a piece of paper landscape and a pencil. I'm going to try and keep it simple for you. So first of all, you need the girl. So we're going to do a face. So think about where I'm doing this face on the, on the piece of paper because it's going to be quite high up but in the middle of the paper. So the middle would be there, but it's high up, higher up. And then we're going to just do maybe... Mm, I'm just thinking it might be easier for you if I just show you. Just do a line to about there because that might help you. So do a line from there down to about here. Use your eye to sort of help you guide where you're going. And then we're going to draw just a line here. So what this is, is that's the top of the body and that's the skirt. So you want it to be equal. You don't really want a massive long bit and then a tiny bit. Then you don't want a tiny bit and a long bit. So from this shape, we're going to do this. It's a skirt. So however you want to do that skirt, just do it something like this. Then a leg. If you think about a leg, it goes in and out and down. This is a little bit exaggerated from what I've done. It's the calf of the leg. And then there's two legs, but you can't see both of them. Like you can't see that they're separate necessarily. So we're gonna draw another line there. And then we're gonna go up. So first of all, we're gonna do just here, you're gonna do a neck. Then you're gonna do a shape like this. Just think about a collar. So it's like a, a shirt collar with a shoulder. Then on the other side, we're gonna go, so it's like another shoulder, but she's got this dress on with the, it's kind of a dress with the sleeve. So we have to draw the sleeve. So here, go down a bit more. Here, go down this way. So you're just creating the way the body moves and you're gonna do a chip-like shape and then you're going to do a chip-like shape there that's a little bit curved. Then just go in, that goes up, and then we want to draw an arm and she's holding the umbrella, so you're going to do this, go down, make an elbow and go to there. And take your time, like I'm doing this super fast, so take your time, but this one is going to go a little line there, and then just join that up there because that's her hand holding the umbrella. Now we've got a bit there, but first we want to join this up. So this goes up and that joins up to there. So can you see, it's more like a body now. And then we're gonna do a collar here. You won't really see this because it will be sort of colored in. And then we want to draw an arm there. So we're gonna go two little lines like we did there almost, but different direction. And then she's got her hand and then a thumb. Doesn't matter really how you do the hand because it's just a Banksy style thing where she's holding her fingers out to the rain. And then this is her head, but it looks quite large, doesn't it? So we have to make a chin now. So touch just about there and you're just gonna go up and this way if you can. Can you see what I've done? If that gets too complicated, just rub out the face and start again because we haven't even started the face. So I'm gonna rub this out. You don't really need to rub much out, to be honest, because most of it's a black silhouette. So I'm gonna do hair as well, so it'll be fine. So we wanna do lips. We wanna do a little nostril, two eyes. So it's kind of just 
you don't even have to make it look like it's a person it's just insinuating so it just just to show that there's a face there that's all you have to worry about and then we can do hair which has got an ear just about there and then you've got hair so she's in the rain because in this particular picture it's raining so it's raining inside the umbrella which is really cool so we're gonna do a shape that's above her that's a bit like this now she's holding the umbrella so you want a little bobbly bit there and it goes all the way down and she's holding this umbrella so if you can try and do that take your time with it because that is a little bit tricky and the umbrella just do a subtle line like that across and then this is a lot more exaggerated and we're gonna join this line up here and then we're nearly done we're just gonna go whoop and then whoop and then whoop so we're gonna rub out some lines now I'll just show you what we need to rub out so we're gonna rub out that and we're gonna rub out this and that my friends is the girl with the umbrella and as you can see it's not finished we've got to just color everything in so we're going to get some black paint so let's have a look i think it's still wet but we're going to get some black paint because i want to show you where the black paint goes so let's get ready with watery black paint so i've got some black paint in here can you see it and i'm just oh i'm just going to get my brush it's got to be a clean brush if possible and I'm going to mix up my watery black okay with my big brush right the first thing I'm going to color is the umbrella it's quite tricky with this brush if I'm honest so all that is black you could use felt tips for this um, or colouring in pencils, doesn't have to be paint. So there's the first part of the picture. Then you want to do... Ooh. Let's have a look what that looks like. Is that as well? So you want to just do an edge and then what I like to do, you could leave it as it is if you like. I probably would actually, it looks quite cool. Now the umbrella that she's holding is white. And her heart, I can't say it, her arm is white as well. So I'm going to rub out that line because we don't need that anymore. All that line there. Right, so her hair, let's do her dress first because that will be easy. So all her dress is black. Apart from, oh it's tricky with this brush that I've got. Apart from her, the chips that we drew, all of her dress is black. So just colour that in black. Funny, isn't it? Because I find it almost easier to paint, with, um, to do my artwork with chalks when I'm showing you, because it's from the side, so it's easier. Okay, let's have a look. So the cool thing about this picture is it normally rains not under the umbrella, so it normally rains outside of the umbrella, but on this particular picture she's it's raining inside the umbrella on her which is really quite cool isn't it not that you'd want to do that <clears throat> if you've got an umbrella would you <laughs> it's not what you want an umbrella for so there is the bottom if you want to do the feet you can just add those in um but i probably wouldn't worry too much and then color a farm I would outline a little bit, maybe with felt tip if you feel a bit more confident than using paint, because it is quite hard to do it with paint. If you're not, if you're not, if you're not um, someone that uses paint all the time, it can be a bit tricky. Okay, now she's got these. Ooh. Okay, and then under her chin, Ooh. and her hair is black as well. So let's do her hair. 
I think her hair looks cool because that's what makes it look more interesting. Let's see what I'm looking at. All right, you could do you could do anything with this. You could create whatever you like. It doesn't have to be a black hair. It could be a pink dress. I'm just gonna go, whatever's inside this, we need to have it white because it's supposed to be in front of her. So it has to be white ideally. Tempted to paint it, but I'm a little bit scared because it's tricky to paint with my brush because my brush is so chunky. Let's have a look. Okay, and then when you do the lips, let's have a look. Don't worry too much, just sort of blob it on and see what happens. It doesn't actually matter, as long as it looks like a Banksy star artwork, then that's cool. Right, so that's pretty much my girl with the umbrella. And if you want, you can smudge the top, so it would be quite nice to be honest, to smudge a little bit there so you can get a little bit of you see I'm kind of blending a lighter watery black inside there so what you can do now really fun let's give this a go so you can do any color that's dripping but I'm going to do the black so I'm going to get watery black and can you see I'm just putting it on like that and letting it drip which is really cool you don't want to do too much because then it ends up looking like it's a bit of a mess but if it doesn't drip it's easy for me, obviously, because I'm holding it up, aren't I? So I'm holding it up quite high and it's straight, whereas yours will be flat on the paper. So you're going to have to hold it up if possible. But that is my girl with the umbrella. If I wanted to do blue or another colour, I'm going to try a little bit of blue just to show you. You see that? looks really cool. What would be really nice actually is you could do a rainbow effect. You could do all rainbow colours. That'd look amazing. So there we are. There we have it. There's my Banksy inspired, well it's my copy of my Banksy um, girl with the umbrella. So have a go yourself. Try different colours and just see what you come up with and enjoy. Like, subscribe and share and I will see you soon. Bye.